And I told that story earlier about being at Town Hall, the bar and restaurant down the street, where I told folks that I'm going to debate Morgan Harper. She's like AOC, almost sm only smarter. A after hearing that answer, I actually think she's like AOC, only dumber. Whoa. Because the reality Whoa. is... That was Ohio Senate candidate Josh Mendel, a Republican simpleton who resorted to insulting his debate opponent Morgan Harper after he realized that he was intellectually outmatched. By a lot. Oh, and here he is, proudly accepting the endorsement of Michael Flynn, who once advocated for a Myanmar-style coup here in the United States. Keep this in mind because he's going to purport that his opponent, Morgan Harper, is an extremist, but I don't think it gets much more extreme than associating with someone who calls for authoritarianism. And this individual is not just a virtue signaling douchebag and a Trump bootlicking sycophant. He's also a whiny baby because after that debate, after he humiliated himself by acting like a fool, he went on Fox News to whine about how the crowd didn't like him, not because he was being a prick, but because they were racist because he's white. I'm not joking about this. Take a look. Uh, I was debating one of my Democrat opponents because I'll debate anyone, anywhere, anytime. And I challenged her to a debate and I said, pick the spot. So she picked a black church here in the Cleveland area uh, in, a, in an urban, heavily African-American area. I showed up and we had a hearty exchange of ideas and, and debated the, the uh, policy views of uh, our, our viewpoints. And unfortunately, not only could the radical leftists I was debating against not hold her own, but then the audience started chiming in. You had guys there from Black Lives Matter. You had other radical leftists there who kept interrupting me. And basically, they were asking me to leave because I was a white guy in a black church. And it's just, it, it's horrible. It's I don't, <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. Some people just have no self-awareness. It couldn't possibly be that the crowd didn't like the fact that he was being a condescending prick to his opponent and had no respect for Morgan Harper. No, it's because they're racist because he's white. Racism is alive and well, folks, and it's just the white people who are dealing with it the most. It's tough being white. As a white person, I've got to say, man, you don't, you don't want to know what it's like to be white in America, folks. What a fucking moron. I don't even know how to deal with this. Now, calling his opponent dumb is not the only dickheaded thing this dipshit did throughout the duration of the debate. So take a look at the way he responds to her and calls her angry multiple times. Why, why are you so angry? Just like, relax. Oh, 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 please, oh, 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 please, oh, 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 please oh. folks. Please. This angry radical leftist is all about political gamesmanship. First of all, Morgan, are you okay? Like, the, the question was about big tech and you're talking about immigration. Are you, are you okay? And second of all, why are you getting so angry? You don't have to get angry. The reality is these big tech companies. Gee, I wonder why the audience didn't like him. It must be because he's white. Now, um, aside from being condescending and overly arrogant, He's genuinely stupid, and he demonstrates this throughout the course of the debate. Therefore, in my opinion, I think it's obvious that when he calls her dumb, it's projection because he has no policy substance. Because throughout the course of this debate, she ran circles around him. He had nothing but platitudes. I mean, he's someone who prides himself on running on God's uh, guns and Trump, whereas she's actually talking about specifically uh, specific policy prescriptions that would help people in Ohio. So this person is a dipshit. And when he called her dumb, he was responding to her arguing vehemently in favor of Medicare for all and not just Medicare for all universal mental health care programs, which I don't think gets talked about enough. But take a look. So he's, he's going to share some of his beliefs with respect to policy and then watch the way that she responds when he claims that she's angry. After hearing that answer, I actually think she's like AOC, only dumber. Whoa. Because the reality Whoa. is, Whoa. if we had universal health care in this country, it would bring down the quality of health care for every American citizen. Vote by mail allows people like Morgan Harper and leftist organizations funded by Mark Zuckerberg and others to commit fraud and cheating in the election system. I, I, I just find it insulting for you to say that like somehow I'm trying to suppress the rights of blacks to vote while you were prancing around dripping sinking, sipping lattes at Stanford and Princeton I was serving in the United States Marine Corps overseas putting my life in the hands of young black men and they were putting their life in my hands and so for you to tell me that 
I have not fought and I have not stood up for the rights of blacks or whites or Hispanics or Asians to vote, to vote. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. So you can go out there and ride your scooters with your liberals and drink your lattes with okay, your liberals. Mr. But the reality Mr. is, Mandel. I have actually Mr. stood Mandel. up for the right of people to vote. There is nothing, nothing healthy or sanitary about putting a face diaper on a five-year-old kid. It is a form of child abuse. But you have radical leftists like Morgan Harper, AOC, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders. These people are loony. Ms. Harper. Let's talk about what's radical and loony. That any time a black woman is standing before you and has an opinion, that somehow that suddenly becomes angry mm -hmm. and out of line. Mm -hmm. So that's radical. And you better be prepared to have a lot of black people stating what we need and what we are advocating for in front of you and be able to do that without pulling on racist tropes, because that's what we've heard a lot of tonight. And so what the question was about was creating economic opportunity for the black community. And it should be a priority for anyone who's thinking of being in the US Senate. And here's what my plan is. We are going to be creating jobs, as I've said, in the clean energy sector, including in neighborhoods like this one, building out public transit infrastructure, making sure that these are jobs that are union protected. We are gonna get rid of student debt, which is one of the biggest burdens facing our generation. We are gonna make sure that we are keeping jobs up with the cost of living, and we are going to ensure that we have access to universal health care, including mental health care, addiction recovery Thank services. You, this is what we need, this is what we deserve, and what we cannot have happen is have a U.S. Senator who has bought out to corporate interests, you, like Harper. my opponent here today, and my opponent in the Democratic Party. Thank you, Ms. Harper. We learned from last debate, no familiarity with the U.S. Constitution, doesn't even understand that we have separation of church and state. Two, talking about pro-life. What about the lives of thousands of Ohioans who, that have been lost to the coronavirus, to violence, as I mentioned, just down the street from where we stand right now? People like him and my opponent in the Democratic primary are funded by special interests. That is who they are beholden to. They are not for us. I am running for the United States Senate to bring true community first leadership to Ohio. How I got here has a lot to do with my family's experience of going from rock bottom all the way to, to being able to stabilize. A lot of accusations about the fact that I'm elitist. I am proud that my mother worked so hard to be able to put me in an opportunity to get scholarships, to go to great schools, and that has what made me laser focused on bringing that same opportunity to every Ohioan. We can do this, Ohio. It is our turn. We have to put an end to a generation of career politicians who are about themselves in distraction and get one of us to Washington, D.C. Let's do it. MorganHarper.org. Morganize. It is our turn, and we are ready to go. Thank you. That was incredible, and I love that she didn't shake his hand. No respect for you, buddy. Sorry you didn't respect me, so go fuck yourself. I'm not going to shake your hand. You called me dumb. You called me loony. You said that I'm an extremist when you're palling around with people who are calling for the end of democracy in the United States in favor of a dictatorship. Fuck you. I'm not going to shake your hand. So I love that, and I love her response there. Uh, so l let's, let's recap here that clip. There was a lot there. So uh, he implied that she wanted to use vote by mail to cheat. I live in Oregon. Vote by mail has been the norm since I've been old enough to vote. And guess what? It works really well. Both Republicans and Democrats here like it. And if you took it away from us, we would be pissed off. It just makes the process of democracy easier. But he thinks she specifically wants to use that to cheat. But yet he supports Trump's effort to cheat. He supports the big lie. He advocated for this throughout the debate. So uh, she wants to cheat with vote by mail. He also claimed that he's not racist because he was in the military and there were black people there with him. Wow. Well, I mean, I, I'm convinced. Wow. You, you had black people in the military with you. You were both fighting in wars. Cool. I guess that confirms that you're not racist. Hey, you know, uh, I saw a black person once at the store. Not racist. Didn't say anything. Didn't say anything offensive whatsoever. That means I'm not racist. I mean, this logic here is childish. This this is a child. Uh, he also uh, said that masks were child abuse, and he called them face diapers.
I mean, he is a Republican talking point machine with a douchey twist and probably 90 times more insufferable than the average chud. What a fucking dipshit. He might be more insufferable than Ted Cruz. No cap. Like, I actually think he might be worse than Ted Cruz. So smug, so overly arrogant. Where does all of this confidence come from? You know nothing. You know fuck all about policy. You got your clock cleaned. So all you could do was insult your opponent and claim she was angry. How are you not angry given the state of the world? How are you not angry? How can you just prance around as if everything is copacetic in the United States? Our country is fucking falling apart. And you think it's weird that she's angry? If you're not angry, you're uninformed. So... Listen, if this doesn't convince you to support Morgan Harper, nothing will. So she's still competing in a, in a Democratic Party primary, and she's running against Tim Ryan. Tim Ryan is a corporate Democrat who oftentimes like to, uh, likes to LARP as a populist, but he's just a corporate Democrat and an opportunist. He co-sponsored Medicare for All, but when he ran for president, he was vehemently against it. He's a liar. And so one thing that's special about Morgan Harper is that she actually has policy prescriptions for issues. And more importantly, she's not corrupt. So I think that part of the reason why Josh was so upset was because she exposed his entire gimmick. He's a talking point machine, but he's no different than all these other corporate puppets in D.C. She's not taking corporate money. And the same can be said for Tim Ryan, her Democratic Party op opponent. So to go up against Josh Mandel, assuming he wins the Republican primary, she'd need to first defeat Tim Ryan. So this is someone who actually needs to be elected to Congress because she actually cares about the issues that affects us. She actually supports policies like Medicare for All, student debt cancellation, and she's not taking corporate money. She's not a sellout. So go support Morgan Harper, morganharper.org. Send her a few bucks if you can. We don't need another corporate Democrat in the Senate like Tim Ryan because he would do nothing to meaningfully change this country. We need another Bernie Sanders in the Senate. We need Morgan Harper in the Senate. And that debate was just incredible. So this really is a good example of what happens when you crush your opponent, when they don't have policy substance and they just have right-wing platitudes and talking points. They get angry and they lash out at you. They call you dumb. But it kind of just confirms that he was losing the debate and he knew it because what else was he going to do? He's an intellectual lightweight and a simpleton who's trying to ride on Donald Trump's coattails. He doesn't have a single unique thought in his head, whereas Morgan Harper does. She actually is a unique individual who's coming up with solutions that aren't being proposed in D.C. So, you know, it's it really egregious the way that he treated her. But you know why he was doing that, because he was losing. He was looking weak. And she was absolutely wiping the floor with him, and he didn't like that. So he had to try to find a way to save face, and he insulted her. But it just made him look like an ass, and it made him look even dumber when he claimed that the crowd didn't like him because they're racist. They're not racist, Josh. They just don't like you because you have no policy substance, and you're an asshole. Were you acting like a... Oh.